Hello viewers, Mace Cal here. I've come fossicking for the Easter weekend. Let's have a look around. We've got this lovely river that's been flooded for six days. I took a pan and found that there was, you know, more more uh, gold dust in it than any pan I've ever looked at. And it was just one pan. So I've set up a sluice. Here's the sluice. It's running on a bilge pump. Got a battery, bunch of solar panels. There's the little regulator. I modded it, put a fan on it to keep the FET cool. Um, yeah, let's show you the flow. Two thousand gallon per hour bilge pump down in there. There's two buckets. One keeps the sand out of the bilge pump. One collects the sand. So when that's full, you empty it. I've got some paint roller trays up here. They'll serve as gem traps, and the gold will get caught in there. Here's my um, hand dredge. That's the collection bottle. There's a flapper valve in there, which is designed as a sludge valve. So, and that's piped in on a spiral. The pipe comes in higher than that tube, so any gold that comes past the tube height is stuck in the device. Once it gets past the flapper, the, the nature of water makes the water want to go down into there and then up the pipe. There's a valve on the piston, which is another flapper valve so that lightweight material can get past it and exits out through there. I made it all out of junk. The hardest part was finding a bottle that uh, was rigid enough to not collapse under the vacuum pressure. I'm going to trial this blower vac system through this ag pipe. 100 mil ag pipe goes into this box. This is going to act as a as riffles. It's a dry blower. Hopefully the carpet will help catch any material. It's fine enough. So we'll drag that around and wear out the impeller on the uh, on the blower vac until it's broken and then I'm going to take it back and say it doesn't work anymore. So I've run that dirt through there. And this is our concentrate left in the sluice trap. There's another little trap up here. I thought that would catch gems but I don't know. We'll see what's in there. So I've got to take this out, go over to the water, and wash this out, and then pan it. Okay. So this is the gold that was caught in the first trap. I put that on there to catch gems, but I don't know, I didn't see any gems. I know there's gems down here, but oh, I caught the big pieces. Now we've got to do the sluice.
Separating the black sand from the gold is the tricky part. Uh, got this little snuffer bottle thing here, and I'm using a, a ultrasonic cleaner to try and gather it into spots and get it all in one spot. Trying to gently blow the black sand off without moving the gold. And then hoover the gold up with the snuffer. So there it is all in one place. A um, couple of little red rubies in there, which is actually sapphire. I haven't got it all out, there's still some more in the uh, in with the black sand, but it's very difficult to separate. So I might just put that all into one spot and melt it later.